guys, this is good news with Temple Paul. Make some noise! <laughs> yeah, you made it, I made it. Guess what? I made it with Colleen, who's my guest today. And she took me through a really uh, kind of get fit thing. I am sweaty right here. So please, if you see anything that you shouldn't, just enjoy me today. But we're making some noise, we're having some good fun. When you see me, you see inspiration, celebration of some sort. So now you made it, I made it through, and we made it thus far. You are here for a reason. You going forward to the top. You know that saying that says it's cliche and cheesy. When life throws you lemons, you go up and make some lemonade. And you drink it, and you share it. And this is exactly what Colin presented. So I'm so happy to have you here. Thank Make you. some noise for Colin Cosette. <laughs> Come on, let people see the, the, the box calling. So good to have you. Make some noise. Thanks, everyone. Great to be here. Yeah, Thank you. nice to have you. Yeah. Morning, how are you? I'm so good. <laughs> I'm making noise for you, I, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love your energy. Yeah. So, Colin, I got you here because oh. you have a story to tell. And you know, the stories that I always tell on good news is that people see our Cape Flats and Cape Town and South Africa and places in South Africa where only gangsters come from, you know, and where only uh, drug addicts are. But it's not so. Because in our communities, we have such diamonds and we have such pearls, hence Deborah Paul. <laughs> so I have you here because you are such a gem within our communities. And um, before we just go on more about you, just fill me in on what did you bring us today? Oh, I love it. I love it, everyone. I brought us a healthy snack because I'm on my health journey. I wanted to share this with everyone here. Wow. I brought us some fruit, almost like a fruit salad, and some grapes and a little, a little wrap, just a smidge of carbs. A smidge. A smidge. <laughs> <laughs> we often need that, eh? Just a smidge. I know. Can I tell you something? Yes, you know, of I'm course a, you may. <laughs> a and enough, enough for the crew. Okay, right. Enough for the crew. Let's have another one. <laughs> right, so. Mm, this is so good. So we have pineapple. You know when things look attractive, mm. food, then you want to eat it. And the right? color scheme as mm. well. <laughs> People. Tasty. Let's change <laughs> our lives. Take action. Exactly, man. I'm I speaking to myself. You. you know, <laughs> they say you must practice what you preach. I want to change it to you must preach yes. what you practice. So from next week, I'm going to start. I'm going to start this. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I believe I in you. that. I believe in that, that, um, that if you are walking the journey, um, you must be truthful and honest about it. And Absolutely. that is exactly why this journey has been for me. So now, before we get to that journey, can we just find out who is Colleen Cosette? Hi, everyone. I'm Colleen Cosette. And guess what? I am from Mitchell's Plain. Wow. If no one Make has some ever noise said for it. Mitchell's Plain. Proudly Mitchell's Come Plain. Come on now. Proudly. Yeah. And you know what I want to say? I am from Mitchell's Plain. I'm proudly from there. Not only that, I grew up there. I attended school in Mitchell's Plain. Yes. Which school was that? Uh, and that was Lentegia High. And Hyacinth and Primary and West End Primary. Come on. And you won't believe how those schools became my employment as I grew up and those same schools became where I do my activities. So now you, you said that you went to UWC, yes. University yes. of the Western Cape, to study teaching. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So I did teaching and because of my love for sport, I was an athlete in the community, a VP sprinter in the yeah, community. Yeah, up to that, <laughs> eh? At Nico also VP. <laughs> primary. Uh -huh. And um, you know what? I went to study PT because that was always what I wanted to do. I wanted to encourage others to be active. And I started, and the first thing I did, I had to look for a job. And lo and behold, I got a job with my old school, oh Lentegi Awesome, <laughs> I love that. And you can imagine me um, in my classroom, and then a, an ex-teacher that whose class I was in came in, and I would call my, my colleagues, ma'am, yes, miss. <laughs> Because I'm working with my teachers. And uh, funny enough, one of your crew members 
was actually one of my students. Gosh. Andrew Bennett was one of my students. When Can he told it? me that, I was like, no, then this woman has to be like really old. Like really old? And when I saw you, I was like, okay, she was probably 18, 20, you know. Because I was a new teacher then. Wow. Um, and because I was a new teacher, there the government applied the rule last in, first out. Can Gosh. you imagine that, Deborah? And so how did, my was that not first, a shock to you? The first year I'm working, I just got my salary for three months. I thought I was living the life and there they say, you out. Yo. And I was unemployed and I thought, but what's going to happen now? I then went to study. I followed the rules. This is now what life is giving me lemons. Wow. So I said, I can't do this. And I actually wrote a notice. That time we had no marketing. <laughs> so I hand wrote 30 pages saying, I'm starting a preschool. My name is Colleen. Uh, my name is Colleen. If, you're, if you have a child that wants to join a preschool in the area, and I thought, where am I going to hand this out? I decided to go to the train station. Come on, which one? <laughs> Lente here, <Yeah>. train station. <laughs> Big up. You stood there. I stood at Lentegeer train station. My mother stood with five pamphlets. My father, my sister, the whole family. And we handed it out at that five o'clock train. And lo the, and the behold, afternoon. in the late afternoon, okay, people were coming, pamphlets were going. I'm smiling in between. And then I'm handing the pamphlets out, but I have no venue. What? Because I want to first see who's coming. Exactly. The next day, a full class. How many? 30. 30 in the class. Now I needed a venue. I go to my primary school and I start the preschool at Hyacinth Primary. Oh my word. That preschool grew. She is too bad. That preschool grew to three classes. Wow. And a lady helped me there. It was my assistant um, who unfortunately passed away a few years back. Her name was Najwa. And I left that preschool in uh, um, the year before I was Andrew's teacher. And I um, gave that preschool to her. Because it's important to me that... Wait, hold on. So you <laughs> stood at the train station. I stood at the train station, yes. You did all that effort. Yes. You got one class. It grew into three classes. Yes. Now you give it over. I hand it over. Handed it over. To Who does that? I had to hand it over because Najwa was the lady. I'm getting so emotional now because she was the lady that helped me when I needed help. Now this is what we're talking about empowerment spread your wings and fly get yourself back and empower your own this is good news with Tabo yes. oh, keep watching we'll be back <laughs>
and I, um, I'm with my dad because I'm always with my dad because I'm a daddy's girl. Come on. So I'm walking and we say, he's, he's telling me, let's go to the butcher. We're just buying some, I can't say what, because he's forever buying that red polonies. <laughs> 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 and we're in the queue and I say, daddy, it's the principal that, that, that told me that, I'm, <laughs> that we must leave now because there's no job. He say, go ask him, you then want to, you want to go back? Yeah. I decide, let me ask. I say, good morning, Mr. Frieslar. Hi, how are you? Mr. Frieslar, Frieslar, I wanted to know if there isn't anything for me. I want to yeah, come back yeah. to teach PT. He says, oh, you can just come Monday. What? Oh, you can just come Monday. We were thinking we must call you. And your father was saying, <laughs> ask, ask. No, I just go back, high five, high yeah. five, five. <laughs> Who gets a job in a butcher? Come on! <laughs> I, must, I must keep my cup. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, is a closed mouth will That's never right. catch a fly. That's good. Closed right. mouth, standing still, you won't get a job. No. You have to step out. You, you know must. something that I've learned in life, eh, Colleen, is that uh, very often in life, because you, your steps are ordered of yes. God and in your purpose. So he won't do things for you that you can do for yourself. You must. You so must. you have to take that first step. You must think that. And thing. you stood in the butchery and he's like, hi, sir, is there. Come is on there. Monday. Is there. He said, come on Monday. Wow. And Monday I went. Najwa was still happily saying, oh, I'm just, no, I'm just uh, the assistant. I said, sorry, Najwa, it's yours. <laughs> wow. And with all the equipment, I just gave it because I knew she, w she knows what to do and she was there all the time. And she has passion she for has that. She has passion. She and has passion for that and you and have yes. the passion to empower. I want that to empower. That is beautiful. I want to empower, yes. So how many years were you teaching? So I was teaching for 23 years in total until 2012 when I went into the college system and became a lecturer. You. Yes. <laughs> and from there, what were you okay. lecturing? So I was lecturing, you know what, uh, again opportunities came. Um, so many opportunities where my, let's say um, a lecturer leaves, now there's an opening but yeah. nobody can fill it, but they can't also employ a new person and then there goes Colin. And they fill the gap. And in total, I probably taught 15 subjects from finance to, to you, you name it. <laughs> wow. I taught the safety in society, um, that's the police students, I taught the primary health, that's the students doing the, the health work and, and so on. Um, and in that way, I broadened my horizons. And I was able to lecture part-time for the university like that. And because everything you do opens another door. I believe that, hey. Just like yeah. I said, that one step. And then yes. the doors just open, open, yes. open. Like a domino effect. Yes. Now, you are busy. Yes. You, you studied business? I studied, remember, I'm PT teacher. Uh, a physical education yeah. and then I go and, and, and I want to broaden my horizons and I do education management wow. because that's what all the teachers does. They do their honours education management but my love is sport, my first love and I go and do the masters and I'm finishing in May this year with the doctorate in sports science. Oh! <laughs> I told you. Yo, this needs, we must make some noise for that. You know why? Because I'm looking at you, you have a husband, yes. you have how many kids? I've got two. My one daughter, uh, um, Amber, she is 28 and she's a tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> there and there. The mother's a Yes. Wow. <laughs> the other one is in grade 8 at Brackenfell. But <laughs> now, having a family, yes. just having a family in itself. Yes. And still having to study your master's yes. and then doing your doctorate. Yes. How was that process? So the process was uh, a lot of planning, a lot of late nights. But I, I say you can do everything you want to do. You must just make the time for it. Just like we can sit and watch TV for hours, you can take I that believe. time and just put it into what In that process passion. from yeah. um, getting the, the job. Yes. The principal says no. Yes. You first in, first out. Yes. Getting the, a job, the uh, having the 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 classroom with the three. Yes. Three classroom. Yes. Standing at the station. <laughs> now the station. finishing your doctorate. Yes. In all of that, what was your greatest obstacle? So my greatest obstacle, I believe, is listening to the nose. 
listening to if someone tells you you can't do something, why do you want to do something? Um, the nose around us can prevent us from doing a lot that we are setting aside for ourselves. The, what we have to do is stick to our goals and move forward. Sure. Yeah. So now this doctorate, yes. which you are finishing yes. now in, in, in this year, right? That's correct. What is it focusing on? It's focusing on physical activity and encouraging communities, the youth, to be more active. And that is exactly what I'm doing with the project I'm currently busy. Yeah. Because I want to live with purpose. Absolutely. Because your mindset is always, I'm done studying, it's done. But it's not done, it's the beginning. You are inspiring me. Thank you very And I much. know that Colin Cosette and Deborah Paul is inspiring you. This is good news with Deborah Paul. Right after this, I'm talking <laughs> about more stuff. Get Fit Nation. Yes. <laughs> My guest, Colleen Cosette. We are having so much fun. You know, you are inspiring me so Thank much you. today. You're talking about how you stepped out and did things. Mm -hmm. How you started something, you handed it over to someone yes. else. Um, and how you um, just continued that. Yes. And, and, and then you, at your age, yes. which is like 20 something <laughs> plus that. Uh, <laughs> You decided to still continue studying. That, to that continue studying. You need to have determination. You need to have focus. Yes. And, I, and I commend you for that as a woman Thank with you. a husband and family. Now, you're still part of this Get Fit Nation. Yes. What is that about? <laughs> so I founded Get Fit Nation on the 16th of January. Which that year? Of 2021. 2021, now. right now. I found it six weeks ago. Are you so serious? It's so incredible to sit here with you because this is actually our week six. What? And I always say that week six is the week where you can say, but now I've adapted to a new lifestyle and you meeting me at that point. Whoa, where, whoa, whoa. Where I can say, I'm doing this, everyone. You're doing the good news. <laughs> You're doing the lifestyle. good news lifestyle. Yeah. So why the 16th? On the 16th of January, Five years ago, I stopped exercising because that was the day my sister died, Veronica wow. Ackley, yes. And uh, um, from cancer, and th I think it devastated our family so much that we didn't even know the effect it had. And for me, I stopped my, my activities, and you know, you, uh, 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 it just takes you on another mm -hmm. level. And I, uh, it took me that time to say, but now, I know my sister would want us to be happy yeah. and to move forward with our lives. How many, how many years later? Um, five years later. Wow. So uh, it's not that I stopped. We, I, I, I was doing activities, but not, uh, not the right type of activities. Mm. I was just walking, but not doing the real thing. Yeah. And in, uh, during COVID, I picked up 15 <coughs> Ks. Really? Uh, yes. L um, lots I, of us picked yes. up lots of things. Yes, because, you know, uh, because I'm a people's person like you are, <laughs> obviously. I tell you. You, 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 you it, it really took its toll. And you want to be in touch. You want to be forget. in touch and, mm. and it really affected me. So the 16th of January, I made the decision to stop, to stop eating the wrong things, to eat clean and train dirty. That's what I love to say. Eat clean. <laughs> eat clean. Eat clean. Train, train dirty. dirty. Whoa. But that takes something, eh? That takes something. So um, for me to have a transformation, if you can look at my before and after. I saw. I stopped eating the wrong stuff in December already. And, and it's... First the food first stopped, the, yeah. then the activity. Come on. Because so it's nutrition. It's nutrition and first, exercise. then exercise. Wow. And, and uh, I saw... Uh, Colleen sent me a before picture. Yes. And that was like six to seven weeks ago. That's right. And the now. The now. I was wow. Yes. Wow. I carried a lot of upper body uh, uh, weight in my face especially. Lots of headaches, high blood pressure and so on and so on. But I'm not alone in this journey. Get Fit Nation is about the people and their journeys as well. I shared with you the before and after of Clyde van Graan. Yes. He was a member of the founding member of the group, 
but his journey is so inspiring because he's sharing in honesty with us how he is on a sober journey as well as losing the weight. Wow, that's So awesome. he goes live, he shares everything and you can see his transformation. Over 20 kilos lost for what? him as well. He's busy for three months. And so, so, so you can do this online as you well? You can do this online. So I do cardio sessions from 5.30 every morning. So you have from five until the rest of your day, but mine is online. You can log on anytime. Well, for fantastic. 20 minutes. Tw this is the thing that 20 you minutes. It's not an hour, it's 20 minutes. It's just 20 minutes. Because I'm, I know that I, even as someone that I have the knowledge to work out something, for me, the hour and the two hours was so overwhelming. I don't. With the family, with everything, you don't get the time. Absolutely not. But we all have 20 minutes. You, you watch me now with my 20 minutes with Colleen Cosette. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm just going to get myself all ready, guys. And then... We're gonna yes. see what she got up her sleep for. Hey, give me some pepper call! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Make some noise. I got myself ready. This is good news with Deborah Paul. I'm gonna do some stuff with Colleen now. I'm gonna see what she's got up her sleeve. So you go to Get Fit Nation. Find them on Instagram, find them on Facebook, find yes. them on YouTube. Just you go find them and you will get some good healthy advice and exercise. But there's one story that yes. you told me about yes. that I really wanted to share. Yes. So I think when I started off, I, sh I probably people were wondering what is this woman doing? Exactly. What is she doing? Because obviously I wasn't looking the part at that point. I was struggling. I couldn't lift my legs. They were probably laughing behind the scenes, but Deborah, nobody's laughing now. Come on! Because you know why I've got the Get Fit Nation encouraging yeah. me. And your after doesn't look like your before. Never! Oh, I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> and so now, because you said that, they thought you heard even people saying, oh, yeah. this woman is fat. Yes. <laughs> why the show she... ain't over until the, the fat, fat lady ladies. got thin. <laughs> yeah. But whatever you are, just get healthy, man. This is good news for Deborah Paul. Let's get going. What, Let's what get are we going. Doing? Woo Music. Yay. Let's walk so long while we're waiting. Here we go. So I always say, when you're walking, you squeeze the abdominals very right. tight. You get that arms in. Lift that Woo. knees. Let's do this. Here we go. And move. Here we go. Yep. For five. five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We go for you touch. And here we go. Touch. Cross slightly. Nice touch. Eh? So this would be called low impact, Debra. Uh -huh. Because I believe everybody should be able to do it. Exactly. And this we can then upgrade to a high impact. That's right. So and you, you must going. make me want to do it. Yes, you must enjoy it for 20 minutes. Yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna progress into a side step. And pull those arms. Yes! yes. Keep going. You show body beat now. Let's do this. High energy. Yeah! Yes! Woo! Watch my watch my arm. Lift picture. those knees. This is good news for Deborah Paul. Can you see high that? power moves? Isn't yeah. It? So we're it's working the abdominals. Full body. Let's pull high. Are we done yet? <laughs> Are we done yet? <laughs> Keep going. Put that hands in the hips. Walk it off. So we're gonna progress into a forward kick. Right. Here we go. You can do Ooh. this. I feel like karate kid right now. <laughs> I had so much fun today. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much for being on the show. <laughs> Guys, please get up from your couch and just do something, man. Get a little sweat. Get some exercise. And let's do this. And this is good news with Deborah Paul. Until next time, peace. Woo! Uppercut. Yes. Hi. Ha. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs>
Thank mm -hmm. you.